The brand new pseudo legendary terror raid event featuring Dragapult and Hydreigon is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're going to cover all of the details in today's video. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you'd like to. So we can kick off by looking at this event specifically. It is going to be for Hydreigon and Dragapult exclusively. You're going to get Hydreigon in Pokemon Scarlet and Dragapult in Pokemon Violet. The event itself runs from January the 6th as of recording this video until January the 8th, which will be this Sunday evening. But if you don't go online after you have updated your dens, like I've already mentioned, you're going to keep this event in your games, have these spotlight terror raids until you do go online next. So you can keep this event for as long as you want. Starting out with the details of Hydreigon for this raid, this will be in Pokemon Scarlet. You're going to get four star raids. They're going to be at level 45 and they're going to have a random terror type with them the ability will be standard so it will be that levitate ability move options are going to be dragon pulse dark pulse work up slam and then work up as an additional move there which kind of does make sense because it's already got work up item drops are going to be pretty standard for your four star raids you're going to get kind of medium and large candies a bunch of the other resources that you get with berries and maybe some higher cost items but nothing too fancy there then the other option that you're going to get throughout your spotlight dens in scarlet is a five star hydreigon raid again the terror type for this one in particular is going to be random again the ability going to be standard the move set pretty much the same but additional moves this time is going to have scary face so no worry about taunt stopping any setups from these hydreigons anyway the item drops for the five star raids are going to be a little bit better obviously with the xl and large candies you're going to get similar resources to the four star raids and then you are also going to get berries feathers rare candies you're going to get vitamins as well as bottle caps and the chance of getting an ability capsule drop as well which makes this one a little bit more desirable to go after then we've got the mascot five star terror raid for the spotlight terror raid events uh for scarlet is going to be the steel terror type hydreigon it is always going to be locked in to that steel type although you can get a five star with any any terror type there will be one specifically that has the steel type tied to it for the whole event again going to be level 75 ability standard same move set as the other five star terror raid and the item drops are going to be exactly the same then we'll move on to pokemon violet you're going to get the four star dragapult which is going to be level 45 again random terror type for this one the abilities are going to be standard for the four star terror raid so it's not going to have access to the the hidden ability in the four star raids move set you're going to get dragon darts dragon dance hex and will-o-wisp and then again similar item drops to the four star hydreigon raid then you're going to get the five star dragapult which you're going to get access to in violet level 75 and again a random terror type for this one it has got the ability to have its hidden ability and then the move set of dragon darts draco meteor hex flamethrower and additional moves that this dragapult will have have as five star is going to be will-o-wisp and then dragon dance so it has a way to set up so something to just be wary of and aware of then the item drops are going to be exactly the same for the five star hydreigon you're going to get those xl and large candies you're going to get the chance of rare candies and also the ability capsule and the bottle cap as well and the signature dragapult for violet players is going to have that terror type of dragon with it so that is going to be the main one that will be appearing probably more often in your games again with the same moveset as the five star regular dragapult and the same item drops as well so this is the spotlight event that is running over this weekend in the stop gap before we do get that seven star cinderace terror raid event back next weekend and this one will be running from the 6th of january till the 8th of january and that is everything that we need to cover for the details about item drops movesets and levels of these pokemon so in game it has just ticked over to midnight this event should be live now to get it in your game you are going to need to come to your poker portal as you have done if you've taken part in any of the other terror raid events that have been running you want to come down to mystery gifts when you're in this screen and then just check poker Paul news this will update by connecting you to the internet and all your terror raid dens will have the chance of having this spotlight terror raid in them you'll get this message coming up knowing that you've done it right and then click onto your map and you should be able to see we have got these terror raids here which have this kind of 
glowing aura around them, which is a bit different to the regular ones. So these are the Spotlight Terror Raids, as you know, and this will be one of the ones that will have Hydreigon in it. So we'll head over to it now. Let's click in on this den. It is the five star Hydreigon. We will challenge it with our Lucario that we prepared in our prep video for this Terror Raid event. So if you're wondering what sort of Pokemon you can bring in to these events, obviously Iron Hands, Azumarill, all gonna be good things to go into these dens solo with. They are five star raids, so they're not gonna be as difficult as your six or seven star Terror Raid events that we've seen in the past. But we did a video covering some different options if you'd like to check it out. I will link it just above me right now so you can click over and get a bunch of builds that are going to be a bit more fun to go into these dens with to take these special Spotlight Terror Raid Pokemon on with. Obviously being a Steel type, you can't bring in a Ground type because it does have the Levitate ability. Idea with this set is just to Sword Stance up, then Screech up a bunch of times. And Nasty Plot is something that you're going to have to watch out for on the High Dragon as well. So there's our third Sword Stance. And we're going to just need a couple of Screeches and then we should be good to go. The nice thing about Lucario is it does have that Justified ability. So if the High Dragon decides to hit us with anything like a Dark type attack, it's just going to boost our attack and it'll cut down the number of times or turns that you're going to need to Nasty Plot anyway. I think this is probably enough. One Screech, three Sword Stance. Let's see how much a Drain Punch does. It is on your five star raid. We should be doing oh we're doing a good amount of damage i think if we got the two extra screeches off so you went for the three screeches we'd be in a much better position here so uh and we're going to see the the shield go up so if you have the patience unlike me get those two extra screeches off if you are using lucario of course and you're going to be able to take this high dragon down in no time at all and there we go, Hydreigon is down. And that is as easy as it was. Well, just super easy raid with Hy with Lucario. And you can see the item drops here. So we've got two XL candies. We've got the Dino Scales. We've got some Feathers, Steel Terror Shards. We've got some large candies and then some more large candies and Terra Steel Shards. So primarily they are gonna be the main items that you're gonna get, nothing spectacular in this one, but definitely a good event to farm for extra Terra Shards that you wouldn't normally get from dens like this. So if you are in Pokemon Scarlet, you're obviously gonna have High Dragon. If you're in Pokemon Violet, you're gonna have Dragapult, but you, you can go online and join other players Terra Raids to get the other version exclusive or if you've got friends that have got the alternative copy of the game then you can and join their raids as well all you need to do is come to your poker portal and then come to terror raid battle and this will connect you to the internet and then you will get a you'll get the news but then when you click in to terror raid battle you will get a list of terror raids that people are hosting and there we go we've got the five star dragapult raid there so we'll be able to join this as a scarlet player with a violet player hosting this so this is a way for you to go in on your games and get yourself the alternative version exclusive that's running in the spotlight events over this weekend this one i think we're gonna choose uh wiggly tough because that was in our preview article that we did for all the builds going into these raids dens and i want to test it out in this five star terror raid we can get the knockout blow as well to the ragapult so that's as easy as it was to take down and we're able to get both versions in one game even though they're split across both copies of scholar and violet in this raid event and there we go let's see what the rewards are like can we get one of those ability patches in this one it doesn't look like we have so we've got a rare candy we've got a pearl string and a bunch of the xl and large candies that we got similarly in the high dragon raid as well but that is pretty much how you get both of them in one copy of the game and if you want other terror types for these pokemon of course you can just look on your map and then check out for the other spotlight terror raids they're easy to identify you've got a steel one there another steel one there got a fire type one there which is really nice for high dragon in particular and if there's nothing on your map that you really like the look of that you want to go after you can just use the date skipping mechanic to come down into your home menu into system settings down into system then into your date and time make sure your synchronized clock via the internet is off and then come to your date and time and just skip your minutes back one minute so one minute back 
and then hit your home menu come back into your game and you'll see all the dens will reset and the mass outbreaks will as well and you'll get different options so we've got the bug type there and we've got a bunch of other spotlight dens just another bug type there steel type ice type another steel type there so you can just do this over and over and over again till you get the terror type that you're looking for in your games but that is everything for the raid today friends i hope you found this update video useful and if you are taking part in this spotlight terror raid event this weekend i hope you have a lot of fun with it and get these pseudo legendaries in their particular terror types that you're looking for if the video has been useful please drop a like do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content and i will see you all in another video very soon so until next time take care and bye bye Bye.